Good morning, everyone. Thank you again for tuning in to my YouTube page. This morning, I want to do something a little bit different. I have my friend, good friend here today, and a chiropractor, Dr. Wood. Good morning. And what we are going to do is we are going to do some different things on this stability ball. Important ways of stretching, working into that lower back, working into our hips, uh, some crunches and things that we're going to do on this ball. We want to be all about good form, and it's nice here today that we have a chiropractor, once again, and friend that's going to explain these things that we can do at home. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Um, first off, I want to point out that we have a mat here. Yes. Yvette's floor is wonderful for exercise, but it's also got a little slickness to it, which is nice when you're doing certain exercise. But first thing we want to make sure is when we're using the ball, it doesn't slip out from underneath us when we're doing certain things. So at home, either if you're at home doing this, either you just put it on carpet or put it on your exercise mat that you have at home. Uh, so we're just going to go through some things step by step here. First thing we're going to have Yvette do is put the ball on the mat. Okay. And I'm going to have her sit on it. And right they're different it's sizes, aren't they, too? Yes, ma'am. That's a good point. You want a ball, honestly, the best way to measure a ball is because some people sit on these at work. Yes. This one's a little short for me. You want to make sure that your hips are even. It's close, but you want to make sure your hips are even or above your knees. So okay. a, a good ball for me would be right about there. And I bet probably I may need a little air in this too. That yeah. could also be an issue. But there's other sizes too. If you go out and purchase an exercise ball, do not throw the pump away because you will need it eventually <laughs> yes, because these balls do Is shrink. Is this close for me? Or? Yeah, that's fairly okay. close. And a little, when you've got air in that one, that one would be perfect yep. size okay. for you. All right. But you know when you're doing stretching at home, it doesn't have to be full. I'm, it, but if you're sitting on it to do yes. computer work or something, which is a wonderful thing that. to do. Because when you sit on a ball doing work, it keeps your muscles firing and that's good for your low yes. back. So what I'm going to have to do is we're going to work those that back. Your low back has a forward curve in it, what we call lordosis. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is stretch and get that back because labor tends to flatten that curve out and we want that curve there. So that's doing exactly what I want her to, which is just to let yourself relax mm -hmm. on the ball, okay? Yep. And she can roll a little bit forward and backward and kind of work the upper. And I can feel when I'm rolling, I definitely feel in my abs as well, yeah, but then it really is. It's a stretch at the same time you're toning because you're having to hold your head and your shoulders yes. up. Now ju we're just going to throw in for those of you who do a lot of computer work and you're you're getting tight up here, which mm -hmm. is bad for your shoulders, and you're getting that hunch look, and you're going, "What can I do?" Yes. While you're stretching down here, I'm going to have that put her hands back oh, over, that's nice. and she's going to feel that in her pecs, especially. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Condition called upward cross syndrome, which maybe we'll talk about some other day. Okay. But this is one of the best things you can do for that. Okay. Uh huh. Um, we do that for 10 or 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. Now, while we're here, let's get a little workout in. Right. We're going to go ahead and do some stomach crunches, just like that. Now, you do as many as you're comfortable doing. Maybe do a couple sets. Um, some people, that's 10. Some people, that's 20. Some people, that might be even 50. And what I like about this is it's very much so isolating into that lower back, and it makes me feel like I'm not only stretching, but I'm protecting my lower back at the same time. Yes, ma'am. And getting supported. abs. Being supported, yep. exactly. And she does as many as she feels comfortable doing. You do as many as you're comfortable home. Okay. And let me throw in right now, if anything we're doing today makes you hurt, you need to stop. And yep. it would not be whether you come see myself or your other chiropractor or your physical therapist, talk to them about what might they might be able to do as an alternate. We're trying to keep this pretty passive though, so you don't hurt yourself. Great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn to the side carefully to one side uh -huh. and we're going to take the hand, the upper hand, in this case it would be the left, and we're going to go over our head with it just like that. That feels Excellent. great. We're, now we're going to work our quadratus lumborum and our obliques a little bit. Uh -huh. We're working the side a little bit more, stretching that out. This is great for those of you who play golf or tennis or baseball or any of those swinging sports especially. Mm -hmm. You'll get a little more strength in your swing. And you're a golfer and I'm and a I'm tennis a golfer, player. She's a tennis player. <laughs> so it works for both of us. Now while we're here we're going to go ahead and do a little side crunching there. We're going to work those muscles a little bit. Excellent. Once again do as many as comfortable for you. Um, myself I tend to count out 20 of each side. Okay. In my front I do 20 or 30. Then I stop and I do another 20 or 30. So there's an example of that and then Great. if I wanted to stretch again. Yes ma'am. Go ahead and stretch her out for a few seconds again. Okay. 
And then we're going to carefully go to the other side, do the uh, same thing. Over. Yes, ma'am. Bringing that opposite arm over. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Feeling a great stretch all the way through that arm. Yes. Feels good. Crunches here? Yes, ma'am. We're going to do some more crunches. I like to do each side, and then I like to end up, I always think you should end up midline, mm -hmm. centering yourself in life as well as in exercise. Yeah. And after she's done those, I'm just going to have her go back to the middle and do, yep, there you go. Stretching here. Yes, right ma'am. Feels good, and maybe just a few more. A few more crunches, it. yep. You know this stuff. Excellent. Yeah, feels good. Now, All right. now we're going to roll out a little bit. We're going to okay. work our glutes, which is part of the core muscle group. The, mm -hmm. the, the key to your low back is to keep strength from here to here. Mm -hmm. And by doing this, she's working those glutes a little bit, okay? And I'm squeezing in those glutes, and then I'm keeping that back nice and flat. Exactly, exactly. And you might want to do four or five seconds, and then relax. And then you would drop onto that lower back Yeah, drop onto, onto the, ball. the ball again. Okay, and then I would come up then again. Then you're coming up again. Okay. Exactly, exactly. And I would drop again. Yes. I'm going to talk just a little while she's finishing okay. up. I'm going to talk about anterior pelvic tilt. Anterior pelvic tilt is the fact that your pelvis over time is your abdominal muscles. Mm -hmm and your buttocks muscles get weaker, your pelvis tends to tilt forward. That actually puts too much curve in that low back. I talked about having a curve in your low back, but when you get too much curve in it, it's really hard on your spine once again. And as a chiropractor, my number one objective is to protect your spine. All right. Absolutely. <clears throat> now, that we've done this, we're going to go ahead and carefully climb off the ball. Now, okay. this is kind of tricky. I don't want you to hurt your back getting off the ball. So what I ask people to do is walk forward so you're, now once again, you're on a non-slick non surface. Yep. You're going to keep walking forward to your butt. Now let your buttocks drop down. There, now you're almost in the sitting position. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to put your hands on your thighs so you can use your thighs and walk up and push yourself up on the ball. There you go. And I'm just kind of slowly letting that back roll up yep. onto that ball. And boy, I can feel that I'm stretched now. Good, excellent. Back. Now we're going to flip over and do the opposite okay. side. So I'm going to have her go ahead and get over on her stomach. And we're going to roll out, and we're going to let our upper and lower body stretch that low back. Oh, this there is my go. favorite here. There we go. We're stretching this group right here, yep. which is great. Love it. So we've stretched. It's what's kind of nice is we stretch that low lumbar spine forward. Uh -huh. Now we're going to stretch it backwards. For sure. Okay. Now this next exercise we're going to do. I always tell people to be very careful on when you start doing this one. Just do four or five reps. Rest a minute, maybe do four or five, okay. and then wait till the next day and see how you feel. If you're if you're a little more sore than you think you should be, lay off that one for a day or two and come back to it. And eventually, you will get to the point where you're able to do several sets. So I move okay. a little bit forward, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do about my knees. Yep. Okay. Now, and if you if you feel uncomfortable doing this next set of exercises. Don't do them. Like I said, you want, to, you want to make sure you have a good base with your hands wide. Okay. And what we're going to have that do is roll up onto her shins. There you go. And roll back. The other nice thing about the ball is it keeps you, it gets your balance better. You're firing off certain nerve groups. Definitely. They're also having to work on your balance in your muscle groups. Excellent. Excellent. Like I said, this is one... A little more advanced, you might want to skip this one the first couple times you use the ball until you get really comfortable on the ball. And Wonderful. Now we're going to come forward even a little okay. more. <clears throat> and now we're going to go ahead and raise even the buttocks higher, a little less knees until you get to the end. Oh, there you go. Oh, you're doing great. You're doing great. There you more go. Like there you go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. There you go. That's why I call this one advanced. Yep. Wonderful. Now we're going to crawl back on the ball, okay. and we're going to do some. We're going to do some extensions. We're okay. going to, now you can put your hands like the vet's got them. If you're really flexible, you can put them behind your head. So you there can you go. One. Once again, this is one you want to only do four or five reps of. Relax for a minute. Okay. Do four or five more reps. And I really feel a nice stretch in my lower back versus Good. pain. I guess I don't feel pain, but I feel stretchy. Wonderful. So. And I feel like I'm definitely working my muscles. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, so it's great. just a really great combination of stretching and yeah. exercise. 
or if I wanted to be here, I could be Yeah, here. you can do whichever you want to. Okay. You can put your hands out your size if you're into oh, yeah. flying. There you go. <laughs> whichever works for you. Actually, by doing this one, now you're working those. I know, right? You're working your rhomboids, yeah. Okay, now we're just going to finish with that forward stretch. Okay. Again. We're going to just kind of... Now I want you to just relax and take three or four deep breaths. Let that stretch in there. Good. Yeah, feels good. Okay, now before we're done, I'm gonna have, we're going to go ahead and we're done with the ball now. All right. And you can stop right there, but I have a few exercises I give to a lot of patients because okay. of their low back. You have some muscle groups deep in your buttocks that don't get stretched very often. Okay. And this will help your hips in the long run, excuse me, your hip in the long run, and your SI joint, your sacroiliac joint, and it's a nice combination stretch. What we're going to work first is the piriformis, and what I'm going to have Yvette do um, is grab that ankle. You grab your right ankle with your left hand. Now notice the knee isn't up very high yet. It's just we, we brought the ankle up as high as we can. Now we're going to grab the knee with the right hand. We're going to pull it towards that shoulder. And I feel that right away. Yep, you're going to feel that anywhere in through yep. here. You might even, if you've got a tight back, you're even going to yep. feel it up there. Okay? Immediately. Once again, I like to hold it for 10 seconds. Okay. Then I like to switch sides and do the other one. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to take that opposite arm. Yes, ma'am. Pull it up. There you go. Once you have that ankle up high, now you take the knee into oh, the opposite yeah. side. Great. Feels great. That's, that's, that's getting the glutes, but it's also getting the piriformis. Now we're going to do one that ex accentuates the glutes more than the piriformis. Okay. So what I'm going to have her do is switch back to the other one. Uh -huh. We're going to bring this foot up over that leg. There we go. But now we're going to grab the back of our hamstring and pull oh, that up. Oh boy. The it's the, the same pull, muscle groups, but you're at a little different angle, so you get a, a little different stretch. I like that one. And I use this also in my classes. Probably those that have done my classes, you have done these stretches as well. Exactly. Exactly. Same Great. thing. Great. And the other one. Yes, ma'am. There and you I go. think pulling in with that arm makes a difference bringing it closer to that chest as far as you can go. Yes, ma'am. So anyway, these are some things. This is a short program. Um, it's something, like I said, uh, if you've been at class that day and Yvette's worked your core hard and you just want to do the stretching portion of that, that's wonderful. If it's a day you can't get to class, you do one of her at-home videos. And you also do the stretching routine. Yes. Or, it, I, like I said, I use these if I've gone out raking or shoveling snow. Those things that really are hard on your little back, raking, shoveling snow, anything, hoeing in your garden. Yes, uh, it's good and to that do stuff's going to start hopefully That's right. soon. We'll, we'll be there soon, hopefully, in Iowa. <laughs> no yes. more shoveling. That's, thank you very much. <laughs> Let's wait another nine, ten months to do yes. that. But anyway, these are things uh, you can do at home. Um, I want to thank Yvette for letting me show yes. you these things. And this is great. Once again, like I said, I'd like to have a little uh, addition to my page by doing some things like this, showing everybody some different stretching techniques, and hopefully Doc Wood will continue doing this with me. I'll be happy to do so, that. So thank, thank you. you very much, everyone. Have a great day, and keep stretching. Yes, ma'am.